Now we have AI in Microsoft products such as Outlook, Calendar, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel document. Snapchat introducing AI video generator. Also Snapchat introducing spectacles, same like Apple Vision Pro. Now Runway ML has video to video generation. There are new robots in town, new research from Disney to teach robots how to dance, world models, Slack AI agent, billions invested in AI data centers and much more to cover. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Microsoft launching AI assistant for work, which means AI is integrated with your Outlook and it's able to automatically write your emails. You can even improve your emails. In your Teams, you are able to get a summary of the conversation and able to ask questions based on that. You can easily collaborate and automatically create PowerPoint slides as you can see here. You are able to create custom AI agents, same like custom GPT and share it with your team members. One of the main advantage which I see is Copilot in Excel. You can automatically generate charts, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, everything is taken care of. Now we have Snapchat in Spectacles. This is released by Snapchat. You can see the configuration, powerful sensors with multimodal AI. You can see the lens. Then when you come to the side, it's advanced computing with Snapdragon with a vibrant display. It is similar to Apple Vision Pro. It has a stereo speaker, six microphone array for audio input, full hand tracking, voice recognition, mobile app controller, two full color high resolution cameras, two infrared computer vision cameras, 37 pixels per degree resolution. In the same topic, you can see now Snapchat, you can add your face, then it can automatically generate image according to your prompt. Similarly, when you upload a video and ask it to add a rubber duck floating and it's able to create the rubber duck floating image. Runway ML, Gen3 Alpha, now you can use existing video as a guide to generate new outputs. You can see a reference video and based on that, you can use the prompt and it can automatically change the scene for you. This is super cool. Next, we have another robot, PUDUD7. And it's capable of moving objects, identifying objects, keeping objects in the right location, and able to do household work. Disney is turning data into dance moves. Disney research have made it possible for robots to learn how to move from random motion data. So here you can see a random motion data provided and based on that, it's able to make a move. And even with the distraction, it's able to use that point and automatically generate the dance move. Next, we have world model from One X. We already know about this humanoid robot, the same company who created that humanoid robot, working on creating world model. World model is nothing but, it's a computer program that can imagine how the world evolves in response to an agent's behavior. Generally, robots fail because they will be trained in one environment and when you move that robot to another environment, the tendency to failure is higher. To fix that, we need to teach the robot how to predict based on the environment. So that's what this world model does. It can predict non-trivial object interactions like rigid bodies, effects of dropping objects, curtains, laundry, doors, drawers, and much more. This is also called large world models. And here you can see one robot automatically predicting the move based on the instruction with a new environment. Talking of large world models, a company called World Labs working on creating large world models to perceive, generate and interact with 3D world. Now we have AI agents for Slack. If you don't know what is Slack, the same like WhatsApp for work purpose. So you are able to integrate AI agent into this. Grok has partnered with oil producer Aramco to build giant data center in Saudi Arabia. Initially, it consists of 19,000 language processing units and later they'll be expanding that to 200,000 language processing units. That's a lot. Talking of data centers, we have Microsoft and BlackRock group raising $100 billion to invest in AI data centers and power. So soon, loads of data centers are going to get created. Now we have Quen 2.5 foundation model which got released. You can see the Quen 
72 billion parameter model is in par with Llama 3.1405 billion instruct. That is really good. For its size, it's doing really good. Different sizes of model got released, as you can see in this image. And some specialized, such as Math, Coda, VL models also got released. Next, we have NVIDIA Nimitron 51 billion parameter model. It is 220% faster and can handle 400% more workload than Llama 3.170B. So the key thing to note is that it's faster and can handle more workload. Next, we know about Moshi. It can automatically understand any audio data and can return audio in response. Now, this model is available for free to use. And you got the technical paper, the repo, and the model weights in Hugging Face. So you can use this model now for free. Now, OpenAI have new prompting guide for O1 preview model, like keep prompts simple and direct, avoid chain of thought prompts, use delimiters for clarity, limit additional context in retrieval augmented generation. As an example, here is the prompt. So you can use tags like this, such as context, examples, instruction, to clearly make it understand your prompt. Next, we have Verka AI. It's AI receptionist for clinics and it's able to handle calls, nothing but an AI agent capable of automatically understanding the conversation, responding to the conversation, and able to book appointments accordingly. Next, we have Runway ML partnering with Lionsgate to bring our next generation of storytelling tools. You can see big production company planning to use AI in their movie production. Next, we have Bespoke Mini Check Model to reduce hallucination. So you can just pass the document and the claim and it's going to check whether it's hallucination or not. It's mainly used for RAG use case. So here you can see the flow, retrieve document, the prompt, and here's the fact check. So here the response from the large language model is 10 million people, but that 10 million people is wrong because the original source says it's 2.93 million. So this model is checking for hallucination like this and saying response no. Next we have Mercor solving global labor matching with models. The future of interviews are going to be like this, where AI is going to ask all the questions and then it's able to automatically choose the best applicant, everything recorded and also instant feedback provided as you can see here. You can see the performance, the transcript, the question asked, the answer given and also the feedback. Next we have Game Gen O, the first diffusion transformer model designed for open world video game generation. It simulates game engine features like characters, environments, actions and events while offering interactive control for gameplay simulation. You are able to create stunning games like this using this model. Next we have a Runway API which you can integrate that in your own application. Dream Machine API which you can integrate that in your own application. That's all for now. I'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.